Hello, um, I'm Jawad Hussain. I'm the Exec Medical Director at East Lynx. Um, it's my update on the week beginning 28th of November 2022. Now, I've got a couple of colleagues with me, uh, Nicola Nuttall and Anna Gibson, who will introduce themselves and tell you why they are here today. However, before we go to that, uh, just a very brief update of what's happening uh, in and around the hospital. Uh, it's not a surprise that we are still in a pandemic. Uh, we have got COVID patients as of this morning. We had a total of 40 patients with COVID. But somewhat worrying, we are also seeing an increased number of patients with flu, both A and B strains. So we have a total of 26 patients in hospital. And you can imagine that when you have a group of patients who have got either COVID or flu, then they need segregation from others to help prevent the spread of the disease, but it also puts uh, pressures on our beds and patients flow. Um, our IPC team is working with all colleagues to ensure that we continue to deliver the safe, effective and personal care. Pressures on a and &E, I must say, is relentless. Um, we still have huge number of patients who are presenting. Uh, they are unwell. Uh, hence, we apologize for the delays in a and &E. There are a number of patients who unfortunately have to wait for more than 12 hours. It's a complex situation of delays, but goes from the discharges back into the community to increase acuity of the patients and the increased attendances. We are working with our partners in community, with our partners in primary care to help ensure that the right group of patients attend and hence the request that uh, there are a number of um, opportunities out there in the community if one needs to look into it. Local pharmacists can help with minor ailment. Uh, GP surgery are offering uh, appointments. So please avail those before thinking of uh, turning up to a &E. And if you do, then unfortunately be prepared for a wait. Uh, we are doing all our best to help improve the situation. Now, coming to today's topic, uh, I'm on the floor of this hospital and in the diabetic unit. Needless to say that diabetes is one of the disease which is proving quite a bit of threat to the well-being of our communities. It is a silent killer and it affects all. But we have seen a disproportionate um, effect to certain communities. BAME is one, but also people with certain lifestyle. So, what best to have two experts which work in our hospital who's going to give an update on how diabetes is managed. So I'll stop here. I'll get both Nikki and Anna to introduce themselves and see how in this modern world we are managing diabetes and what's the message out there for our communities to help themselves uh, manage this disease. So there you go. Nikki. Hi. I'm Nikki Nuttall, I'm the Integrated Diabetes Service Manager um, for East Lancashire. We provide um, a community service, which is the intermediate service, whilst all supporting the GPs, and we also provide an inpatient service as well. Um, this includes multidisciplinary teams, which includes the foot team, podiatrists, dietetics, diabetic specialist nurses, consultants, and we work across that. We do provide nurse-led clinics as well, and it's to support and educate the diabetic uh, patients across East Lancashire. Um, a lot of this is to ensure that we are trying to empower patients to self-manage as diabetes patients tend to look after their care for the majority of the time. We have been involved um, in lots of different things and our foot team has been presented a poster at the European Foot Association meeting in September, which was highly received. Uh, we do have and we work with lots of new technologies, lots of new medications, etc. And like I say, we do in reach into GP surgeries to support them. Unfortunately, diabetes across the health economy is increasing and we do have an eye number of patients with both type 1 and type 2. As a service, we support these both. We also work with the antenatal clinic um, and, like I say, with dietetics and podiatrist. Right. 
thank you for that. Uh, Anna, on to you. So my name's Anna Gibson. I'm the clinical lead nurse for diabetes um, and I oversee the inpatient service where we receive referrals from all over the hospital and go visit the patients on the ward to see um, how we can support the ward staff um, manage their diabetes whilst they're in hospital. Uh, we also do outpatient clinics and are involved with starting a lot of our people with diabetes on the new technologies that are available, such as um, glucose sensors and insulin pumps. I'm very fortunate in 2017 to be accepted for NHS England bid, which provided extra monies um, to provide a seven-day service for it's both patients uh, with diabetes and also the foot team. This has been extremely successful and this is to reduce admissions um, into the hospital so they work very heavily with uh, the emergency department etc and also to speed up timely safe discharges. Okay, no, thank you Anna and Nikki. I think your colleagues uh, probably have heard what a good service our teams provide and in all honesty I think just giving five ten minutes doesn't do the justice to really know the amount of work the team does and it starts with working with our colleagues uh, in primary care and community to help prevent deterioration of their disease in help improving the understanding and self-management but equally the element of research and innovation is so important because without that we'll never move forward in trying to minimize the ill effects this disease have. So the teams are continuously inputting the, 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 the stuff that is so vital in national, international and local uh, research and collaboration. So we'll, we'll bring you more up to date possibly in a few months time and we'll possibly show you some of the work being done um, on, in the outpatients of how we interact with our patients, how we use the technologies in help delivering a world-class service. We'll update you next time on another service. Look after yourself. Bye for now.